We continue our efforts to help you have your best summer yet. Earlier this week, we touched on summer health concerns from sunburn to salt water. Today, we're helping you mind your manners this summer. Uh, after all, nobody wants to be guilty of a summer fun faux pas. No. So this afternoon, we invited etiquette expert and Salisbury Secretary of <laughs> Kindness, Grace Foxwell Murdoch, to Historic Studio D. Thank you so much for joining Delighted us. Delighted to be here. Got something. We've got a little exercise here that yes. we want to do. But first, okay. you shared something with us about Teddy Evans in the Eastern Shore Baseball Hall of Fame. Yes, one of the other docents at the museum is my brother, John Alder, who is also a member of the uh, museum. He's in the Hall of Fame, as well as an uncle, Bill Murray. So we have great links to that museum, and my brother loves to take people through also. So That's great. Yeah, it's a great connection. We have got all kinds of royalty with us today. We, we sure do. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, uh, we're going to set up some situations yes. that might happen at a summer get-together, and mm -hmm. you, you let us know how to handle these. Okay, I'm going to a party or a picnic. Everyone's drinking. I don't drink, or I don't want to drink that particular day, and it's getting a little bit awkward. What do I do? I, my go-to drink is ginger ale all the time when I go to a party because you want to have something in your hand, you want to be, appear social, but it's okay. You can just put a ginger ale or a club soda with ras um, cranberry juice in it right. and look like you are. The other thing is, really should we be concerned because everybody gets to do what they're comfortable with, so just feel good about what your choice is that day. and. I use ginger ale. Yeah, yeah. no need to be feeling awkward. No. Okay, it's wedding season, uh -huh. but it's also hot. Right. Uh, how dressed down can I be without being inappropriate? Well, the nicest thing is to get an invitation that gives you a suggestion of attire. That would be ideal, and oftentimes now they're including that in the invitation. It's never bad to be overdressed. It's a little poor to be underdressed for an event. I would always tell ladies especially to wear a shawl to take a cover up because if you feel uncomfortable with what you've chosen, you can always put that on. You don't know what the temperature's going to be. Uh, think about the venue. If it's in a church, a formal church wedding and a nice reception after, then you need to be a little bit upscale. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a beach wedding, of course, sundresses are appropriate. The main thing you don't want to do is draw so much attention to yourself that you take away from the bride because it is her day and the wedding party's day. But um, always overdressed is okay, underdressed not so much. Okay. Um, speaking of pool party, I want to keep my guests out of my house to avoid them dripping water everywhere. How do I tell them that, especially if they're comfortable enough to walk right in? That's a hard one, but it takes preparation. And what you do is at the door, you, there are wonderful mats now that are absorb the water quite well. Right. So you purchase one of those, have that outside, have a great stack of towels if they have to go in. So you're providing them with the tools that they don't track into your house. You could also announce at the party area that uh, if they need to go in to let you know, and then you could take them in and help them not mess up the house. But you've got to understand if you're having a water pool party, there's going to be some water. Be it's water. just water. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of water, yes. you know, you're at the pool party, someone has a child, mm -hmm. and children love to splash, yes. and they're splashing all over the adults. Okay. This is uh, can be awkward because you might want to go to the parent first and say, would you ask Will or uh, Susie not to splash? You know, the other children aren't enjoying it. They should pick up on it, but if they are not drinking ginger ale, they may, it may completely uh, <laughs> pass them by. So I just think speaking to the parent first, and then when you have people come, you could say there are a couple rules that go with the pool. Mm -hmm. And the rules are, we don't allow splashing, we don't run around the pool outside. So preparation and um, be proactive rather than reactive when you have a problem. Yeah. For both Party. kids and adults. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're having a few people over for a little get-together. I go to bed kind of early. Mm -hmm. How do I graciously let them know, it's getting kind of to my bedtime, thanks for coming. Have right. Me. Well, again, Jimmy, um, preparation is important that you would put a limit on the party and say, we'd like for you to come for a party from 6 to 10, and then by 10 o'clock, people with good manners are leaving, and they'll see others starting to go. So. You can also uh, casually start cleaning up. Mm -hmm. You might 
collect some trash, you know. Turning lights off in the living yeah, room is not no, a good idea? No, not yet. Don't do start, that, okay. Start with picking things up and straightening, maybe picking up some wet towels, that type of thing, yeah. and the, they should get the message. All right. Yeah. So all this talk about parties made, mm -hmm. made me hungry. Okay. You're going to help us out there as I well. Am. Up next on Delmarva Life, we step into the kitchen with Grace as she shows us a neat spin on how to serve veggies. We're also making a salsa dip to go along with them. Don't you dare go anywhere. Delmarva Life will be right back.